Best of the Midwest, Episode 1, Steel Belly Barbecue. I'm going on the road to showcase the top barbecue spots across the Midwest. We may not have the following or the history of Texas barbecue, but guys like Russell Knockerts are grinding every day across small towns in the Midwest to bring Texas-inspired barbecue. Algoma is a small town right outside of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Population is under 5,000. Russ and his wife operate a food truck with a small crew pumping out amazing barbecue every day. Started out as a welder and like just got tired of it. Started doing the backyard thing and got hired for weddings and like it just blossomed into, into what we got now. I did all the, I did 60 brisket patties for tomorrow, so we'll smoke those in the morning. Uh, and then I do a smash burger and then probably brisket chili or something with work, work for everything we want to do. So what pits are you cooking with? Primitive pits, they're awesome. JD is a mastermind and uh, we love them. So you said you got a 500 and a thousand, right? 500 and a thousand. Right. Or I, I thought about I mean, we're looking at doing a brick and mortar. I worry about our little, little town here. Like, I have to create a destination for people that want to come and eat barbecue. Right. I've also thought about building, like, a NASCAR-style show hauler. Like a big 53-foot feather light. And then putting, like, an m and rotisserie in the bottom of it. And then we can rock, like, the biggest of the big events. Been the would you say the biggest struggle doing the style barbecue up here? Um, teaching people just how barbecue is supposed to be served Texas style. Um, it's been uh, we try to teach everybody. You know, it's always a learning curve. There's always a learning experience in what we're cooking and how we're presenting it. Uh, I would say that's been the biggest struggle. a lot of time you know people don't understand like we have 24 or 36 hours invested in cooking and like we're you know with our event schedule like we're booked like 25 20 now that we're used to we're just in the flow where we're we're doing the same thing every day
Very good. I think it's pretty close to anything on par with anything you get in Texas, so very good tray. Yeah, this potato salad is, uh, I could eat that all day, I think. It's like a loaded baked potato salad, a little bit of sauce on it. Not too much sauce, just enough to kind of get a little flavor kick. All in all, the whole tray is pretty good though. What's a uh, favorite bite? Favorite bite? For Let's do favorite bite for main meats, proteins, and inside. Main meat, protein, I would say ribs, definitely. Sides, I would go potato salad followed by mac and cheese, then beans, then coleslaw. I think the, for meat, the burnt end is really well, or really good, and then the brisket, and then sides. I'm a mac and cheese lover, because I love the mac and cheese. And then the potato salad's really good. My favorite's definitely the ribs. Um, cooked perfectly. Uh, whatever glaze he's got on there is just amazing. Um, but definitely the baked potato salad. It's really, really good. I could literally, I, like I said, I could eat that all day. The, the burnt ends are really good too. It's got a great flavor, really tender. All in all, really good. Let's get drunk. The winery has a cinder block pit that gives rust the opportunity to cook whole animals over direct heat coals. We spent several hours hanging out with Russ just talking barbecue. He's full of knowledge and a lot of experience. He discussed plans of a brick and mortar and hoping to make it a destination spot. I gotta think it already is a destination spot. Whether you're on your way to Door County or stopping in for a Green Bay Packer game, this is a must stop. Amazing food and even better people. What's going on? This is Russ Knocker with Steel Belly Barbecue. We're here in beautiful Algoma, Wisconsin. We look forward to seeing you. Make sure to check out Steel Belly Barbecue on social media. Both Facebook, Instagram, website, at Steel Belly Barbecue. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and subscribe. If you have any ideas of where we should go next, please drop it in the comments. Stay tuned for episode two as we hit Chicago.